When you test your sugar, you are looking at your blood sugar level at a particular point in time. Unlike your blood sugar level, your HbA1c measurement is performed by your healthcare professional and is a calculated average of your blood sugar levels over a two to three month period. This is also known as your A1c. When the body processes sugar, the sugar in the bloodstream naturally attaches to a protein in the red blood cells. Red blood cells have a lifespan of 8 to 12 weeks, therefore measuring the HbA1c is a good way to reflect the average sugar levels over this time period, providing your healthcare professional with a useful longer term gauge of blood sugar control. In a person without diabetes, the blood sugar levels are often consistent, meaning not much sugar attaches itself to the protein in the blood. The HbA1c is relatively low in people without diabetes because they have the ability to move the sugar out of the blood. In people with diabetes, the body has difficulty moving sugar out of the blood, so the sugar remains in the blood. This is why sugar levels are higher in people with diabetes. As the blood sugar level increases in someone with diabetes, more sugar attaches to the protein in the red blood cells and thus the higher the HbA1c. This may increase your risk of developing diabetes-related complications such as heart disease, kidney failure, stroke, blindness and amputation. By reducing your HbA1c, you can reduce your risk of developing these complications. Therefore, it is recommended that you have your HbA1c checked every three months or as recommended by your doctor, as it is important to monitor what your current and optimal HbA1c is. Your healthcare professionals are here to help and will provide you with the support to manage your diabetes in the best way possible.